Hey YouTube, don't know what day this is going out, but here we go, this is, it could probably have made it into the Trade Tuesday thing, it may be in the Trade Tuesday video, we'll see what happens. Uh, this is a DeVille Stratocaster, which I got, it had been sort of, um, previous owner had gone mad with a Sharpie on it, made it look like a Van Halen guitar, and I was messing about last night, and I thought, I wonder if that, I wonder what teacup will do to it, and it just totally took it off, so I've got it back to being one of the best colours of guitar ever, like, off in inferior white or chewing gum white or whatever you want to call it um so yeah uh, also the other day i got a this scratch plate off my pal scott and while we were talking about it so i thought oh because this one didn't have a scratch plate it was all empty amazing neck on this guitar um fantastic i don't really know who deville are um i kind of remember them from the guitar shops i don't think they were expensive make um but the neck on it is not like one of your cheapy you know when you get cheap maple necks are kind of powdery and stuff no no this one's this one's rock solid and good um i was actually thinking on the headstock see because i've scratched the names of headstocks before to put in a you know put like a bucky label on or something like that i think it'd be quite easy see if i just took off the le at the end it would just be devil which might be better not hiding the fact it's a devil but there you go um yeah so got a single humbucker scratch plate I did a Telecaster pickup. Now this has got some interesting wiring in it. I, as I said, it was I, you probably saw the video on Saturday. I was at my pal Scott's house and he was talking about um, the Ibanez RG, which is one of my favourite five-way lever switches. So you've got two humbuckers and five-way lever switches. What it gives you is I'm gesturing towards a five-way lever switch that this guitar doesn't have. So you've got like bridge humbucker, and then you get the outer coils or the inner coils of the two humbuckers which gives you a fantastic sound and then you've got both humbuckers and then you've got like a um the neck pickups wired parallel instead of series and then you get the series the humbucker so it's that position two we're talking about with outer coils so i was looking at this thinking right we've got the volume controls already there there's already a hole for the volume controls already a hole for the pickup put the pickup in what often you get like a coil tap switch a coil split switch which basically cancels it down i was like what what would I, I'd like to add something so it's not just a volume control. Um, I decided my favourite sound is that one um, we were talking about before. Also a Duo Sonic when you've got two, two pickups on outside. Also kind of Telecaster in the middle. So the switch, this guitar only has two sounds. Um, so this switch, which I might actually ask in tonight's live stream, um, if anyone can I'll give somebody a free t-shirt if they can guess what this switch does. Uh, so the answer is the switch is when you've got it, in the back, this is just a two-way humbucker. Uh, this is a humbucker out of the Hello Kitty guitar, actually. So it's, it's a square one. It's designed for a guitar to be in a guitar on its own. So there's plenty of... Um... Plenty of rock. So, I'm on, I'm on distortion. Now. I'll, try, I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you both the, the full array of sounds on distortion and clean. Um, so, that's the humbucker. If you put it into the forward position, it coil splits the humbucker so you just get this coil and this one in parallel which gives you your sort of position four on a Stratocaster and the middle position on a Telecaster kind of, kind of idea like unmistakably a, a Fender sound humbucker So there you go, it's kind of arguably my two favourite sounds if I had the coil adder guitar. Do next door. Um you know, get 25 sounds. These would probably be my two top ones most used, so it's only got two. So you've kind of got Fendery. I think I'll go clean, let me sound a bit more like it. Very much it, Fender. And then the humbucker. Also, should mention this guitar is made of finest tone plywood. Um, it's actually really good, really good neck. Um, consider, uh, not really considering any age. I don't have the tremolo bar for it. It takes the 
either a, I think it takes a six mil tremolo bar, but the tremolo bars I've got a five mil. But apart from that, the, the, the trem should work. Um, I wasn't sure I was going to paint the scratch, but it's one of those things that's you never really know until you put it on. It's like I was looking at it, I was like, I laid it on your I took the old scratch plate off, took the strings off, and put it on. It was something I was like, No, actually, the white pearl and the, the lightness generally works, I think. Um, this one did have a, a Wilkinson pickup in the bridge position, but see, it, it, it's amazing how thick, I, I went for looks. Uh, the Wilkinson one was a zebra one, so it was black and cream, and the cream was darker than the body, and the black was black, and it just didn't stick out right, whereas when I did this, you know, laying bits out, it just looked right. I mean, the telly neck pickup, you can't listen to it on its own, but I always felt like on, on a telly. Not so much these days, but it used to always be a case of a Telecaster only has really two positions. It's got the bridge pickup on its own, and it's got the middle position, the neck pickup. So, um, whereas this one, you are using the neck pickup, but you're only using it in conjunction with the two sounds. I was playing a, a riff actually quite light. So just, just so it's definitely live, I'll put it back on again. But um, I was thinking it's quite uh, chilli peppersy. That's the both pickups on. Just one bucket. But I think the two pickups on gives you it's better for the clean. I would use this position for soloing. 
a nest position for soloing. A bit more, a bit more distortion. Try the. This is the twin note buzz. Alright, lost, lost the string there. Um, so I lost the whole guitar. Just the strings. I did do a little bit of a cheat, which I need to do a video on actually. Um, the strings that were already on this guitar, I'm so <laughs> they were all right, so I left them on it. Um, it had, this had black tuners on it, and I went for. The black tuner didn't look right, so I put silver, new silver ones on it, and um, one of the, the high E string was a locking tuner, just one locking tuner, so it didn't have any length on it. So what I did was I extended it. You can zoom in on there what I've done. Um, you can see it's got basically a thick string sticking out the high E. Um, I'll show you how to do that. The way it's kind of like it is possible. I've seen someone do it before, like actually tying knots in the strings. That's not so easy, but. What is quite easy to see if you when you throw out your old strings, cut off the last wee bit and you get the ball in. So you can put them in this this string's only went to here or something. So obviously you can't do that when it snaps in the middle. But um what you do is you put it through the ball end of a string and then twist it round as much as you can, right? And then while it's sitting there you put super glue on it to stop it untwisting. And it seems to last alright. Um better if I didn't have other strings lying about but basically in Mad Max times this sort of thing's going to be dead useful but this guitar's never been um, probably played this for half an hour yesterday so it's not, it, the strings aren't stretched in yet it won't be going out of tune on its own <laughs> if I could play some Gary Moore I would That's a humbucker, and then that's the position two, whatever you're going to call it. Telly Geosonic. Even on fuzz, it does make a difference. It has two different fuzz sounds. Much softer.
control. That's why I do videos of these before I sell them. Just to see if there's anything I've missed. I think they're sitting here with a high fret somewhere around here. That one. Yep, just there. The, I think that's why it's kind of... Causing all sorts of problems. The rest of the guitar's sounding good though. really hard you can get around it and I will sort that though. So what am I going to do with this one? I don't know. I really enjoyed putting this together. I mean as I was saying it was really only about yesterday about I don't know about dinner time that I, I saw the teacup and I thought I wonder if I would take off that and then ended up just building the whole guitar and I really enjoyed it because as soon as it started looking at what it it started looking really interesting. It's like one of your Kinda along the lines of the Squire Fifty One, or your, um, someone told me what it was called. I was calling it the alternate reality series. There's some. It's got another name. Whatever the Fender series is, it kind of looks like one of them. So you've kind of got, I suppose, it's just a strap really in it, but a telly, a telly pickup in it, and a telly sound. Um, yeah, I'm toying with maybe putting a tone control in it. I don't know. <laughs> Brother really needs it, really. You can do a lot with the volume control. I put a, a, like a CTS big pot in there just because it's only got one knob, so you might as well make it the most expensive one I could find. It almost got the Yingwee Malmsteen speed knob, but I forgot about it by the time I'd, I found this this one first. But it's the, the, the joy of the... This is me just clean again. The difference... Is it clean? No, that's, that's me just on distortion, as opposed to fuzz. So there you go, clean. Just knocking the volume down a wee bit. Really darkens it up. So you can really get into using uh, the intricacies of the volume control. When it's all it's, it's all you've got. Well, not all you've got. I do have a couple of guitars that are um, have just a single... A humbucker and a, a volume control. It's amazing what you can do just by learning. This one I'm cheating a little bit by having two sounds. Uh, just as happened to choose my favourite strat sound. Or sound. It doesn't actually come in a strat. That's what my, Gil my Gilmore sound, Gilmore switch does. I call it my switch. The switch that I fit is the, the dead simple switch. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just thinking if you're playing clean, the two seconds it just sounds better than the humbucker. Humbucker's too powerful on its own. And if you just split it, it's a little bit too thin. Whereas this gives you a bit, a bit of single coil in this and a bit of balls. So I don't know when this video will be going out, but um. Rock on, see you soon. Um, drinking tonight, yay! Got my bottle of Bucky sitting there, ready for tonight's live stream. So I don't know how pissed I'll get, it's quite hot, so it might be another sweaty one. Kind of feel myself starting to sweat a little bit, and it's um, when it's live and the red light's on and it's all the things and the Bucky's flowing, it's like I, I tend to get a little bit overexcited. <laughs> Rock on, catch you later.